So I'm Dan Spratt, a radiation oncologist from the University of Michigan. A secondary analysis of RTOG 9601, a randomized trial of post-operative salvage radiation therapy with or without two years of bicalutamide. And they've done a secondary correlative analysis where they've ran the decipher test on the tissue that was available in about 50% of the cohort. And the decipher test is a 22 gene prognostic genomic classifier. It's a commercially available classifier already for patients with postoperative prostate cancer. And they applied this to the randomized trial. This is the first time that a commercial gene expression biomarker in localized or recurrent prostate cancer has been validated in the context of a phase three trial. So this is a big deal. And not only is this the first time, it actually performed perfectly uh, consistent with the retrospective data and the single arm trials that have been performed to date. And that decipher was an independent predictor of developing metastasis, death from prostate cancer, as well as overall survival. They also looked at the differing absolute benefit you get from hormone therapy across the decipher risk groups. And when you look at the overall cohort, what's fascinating is that for patients with a lower decipher score, there's only a 2% improvement in survival for the men that received hormone therapy. And those that had intermediate or high decipher scores, they had a, about a four times larger survival benefit from the addition of hormone therapy. But what's really fascinating is that in early salvage radiation therapy, which nowadays is the standard of care, men with low deciphers not only had no metastasis benefit or prostate cancer specific mortality benefit from hormone therapy, there was about an 8% worsening of their overall survival, highlighting that when there's no oncologic benefit of hormone therapy in this favorable group found by decipher low patients, all you see is the harm of hormone therapy with worsening survival. However, it appears that there is subsets of patients with early salvage radiation therapy that may benefit from hormone therapy. Those with the higher decipher scores actually did have a metastasis and survival benefit. So I view this data very similar to nearly a decade ago when the Oncotype DX breast cancer test got approved into NCCN guidelines. It was based off of a randomized trial, secondary analysis, that showed very similar findings but with chemotherapy. And this changed guidelines and that now is a standard of care for women with breast cancer. I think this will be practice changing for many people that because this test is already available and I'm excited to see how this impacts patients.